This next study is a dynamic spect uh, from the Spectrum Dynamic Veriton camera. So the study itself uh, is not as as big as the the Quadra, so it's not as difficult to handle size-wise, but it is still uh, a challenge to uh, to make it compatible with with our system because uh, you know dynamic spect. And especially the Veriton is, is 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 very new to the market, and you know as a vendor neutral uh, company, when a new camera comes to market, we have to you know find data set and make sure that we can display them. And when they use use brand new technology and their own uh, DICOM flavor, then it can be a challenge. But we find a way to do it, and so we continue to be a great vendor neutral software company that can handle any type of data sets, just like this one. So you can see it here. It's going to the 85 different uh, time frame. And here, if I create the volume of interest, again, we can see the statistics uh, being calculated live for each time frame. You can obviously look at the time activity curve. Same thing, we see the, uh, the evolution here uh, through time with the following the little star. And we can use graph mode, and all the statistics for all the frames again can be uh, exported. But really, here it's um, a nice data set to show. First of all, what uh, what can be done now with uh, with Spect, which is uh, impressive in itself, but the adaptability of our software uh, to become quickly compatible with brand new technology available on the market.